What do you have an irrational fear of? Is there anything that scares you to death? Um, I hate being in a room with a bunch of snakes. I hate snakes. When was the last time you actually encountered a snake? Um, I was in the forest one time and I saw a snake crawling on my foot. And that, that actually scared me. Would you ever be that guy who would like do the, like what if they want to take a picture on picture day and it was like a snake crawling around your nah, arm? No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> what type of music or song are you embarrassed to admit that you actually like? Um, what, if you're driving down the road, what do you like rolling your windows up but you're not changing the dial and the song comes on? I think it's by Owl City. A good time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that song. <laughs> I know the song you're talking about, but I'm too embarrassed to sing it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. So. We'll just leave it at that. Tell me about a great memory from growing up that doesn't involve basketball. Great memory? Um, me and my family went, there's this famous mountain in Jamaica called Blue Mountain. And we, me, my mom, my aunt, my sister, we took, we took the whole day to just spend some time in the mountains with, like, just the family bonding activities, climb the mountains, see the waterfalls. Yeah, that's the best memory I have. When was the last time you cried tears of joy? Tears of joy? Uh, Where have you? Uh, I won my high school state championship. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh, this one's a little different for you, actually. Tell me about your first year playing organized basketball. Were you any good? How old were you? Uh, my first year playing organized basketball, I was about 14 years old. Uh, I was not good at all. I was not good. Uh, most points you ever scored in a basketball game, and when was that? I think the most points I ever scored was 42. And it was probably my sophomore year. I don't know if they do this in Jamaica, but I'm sure you got some in um, New York City. Talk, tell me about Halloween. What was your routine for a, as a kid, your Halloween routine? Um, growing, growing up in Jamaica, we really didn't celebrate Halloween like that. But I've been to a few Halloween parties since I've been here, probably like one or two. And it's, not, it's nothing really crazy. All you, they just dress up in costumes. What does a seven footer dress up as on Halloween? One time I was thinking, one time me and my friends were thinking about like dressing up as leprechauns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who in your life do you most look up to? Welcome to my my brothers, my three brothers. Explain. Um, they've been through a lot since they were kids, and to see them grow up and be successful as they are now, it just like it inspires me a lot. All right, I want some explanation on this. It sounds like a yes or no, but I want to know why. After your playing days are done, would you volunteer to be part of the first trip to Mars? Of course. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Like, why would why would you not take that? Well, I mean, it's a little risky. I take risks sometimes. <laughs> Fair enough. What's the nerdiest thing that you do? Um, I guess watch Dragon Ball Z and watch Naruto. That's the guess. That's basically it. You get made fun of for that at all? A lot of people don't know I do it though. Yeah, I know. It's just kind of weird. Um, are you a fan of professional wrestling? One. After your playing days, would you consider going into professional wrestling? You're a pretty big dude. You may be able to do some damage. I was I was a fan of it when I was younger. Then I then I realized it was fake. And when I retire from basketball, I definitely won't definitely won't become a part of it. What athlete do you most look up to? I look up to Cristiano Ronaldo. That's my favorite athlete. Uh, the way he the way he plays the game, he seems like he has a lot of fun playing. And he's like a he's like a really he's a really good role model for, for kids in his country and he tries to do a lot of global stuff around the world. Alright, this next question, I want you to finish the sentence. Mm -hmm. I wear number talking about jersey numbers. Mm -hmm. I wear number blank because. So okay. tell me your number and then why you wear it. I wear number four because it represents me, my mom, my aunt, and my sister. Those three have been together with me throughout since day one, and I'm basically playing on the court. It's when I'm on the court, it just it's us four playing.